Alright. Um, do you want to tell us what you're doing today? I'm making an eight pointed star. Okay. And what are all the things you've got here? Um, mechanical pen, roller, some more leads to put in stuff, a rubber and a compass, and another roller. Okay. Thank you. So what are you doing first? Do a line across the page. It doesn't See. have to be this long. Though. Okay, and what do you know about the eight-pointed star? Mm. But you do two squares, and that makes it. It is two squares. How many sides has a square got? Four. Four. What are the things you um, can think about with four that relate to the number four? Like four... How many elements are there? Elements. Earth. Fire. Water. Water. Air. And air. Wind. Yeah. Four elements. Um, what about directions? Forward, back, right and left. <laughs> and, and if you think of a different kind of compass, not this compass, the compass you use for directions, what does that have? Northeast, southwest. Northeast, southwest. So the four, we can think of um, almost to do things to do with the earth, like four, like directions, like elements. It's hard to get this exactly in the right line. The eight pointed star, though. Uh, I've seen it in churches in Italy, I've seen it in different places in England, but when I do it people usually associate it with Islamic design. And the one that I do quite a lot is called Breath of the Compassionate. Mm -hmm. When you put lots of these in a row together, because eight is also... Is that the thing up on that door? Yeah, that is the thing up on the door. So it has the kind of, what they call the breathing in and the breathing out. Because eight is also the related to oxygen. So that's why they call it, well that's just, that's something I guess they found out later. What have you done there? Nothing. You're going to keep I going? Just, yeah. So we've got to be careful the size of your compass doesn't change, is that right? Yes, definitely, because if it changes then everything changes, because that's when you just push in and out. Okay, so that's something we ought to be careful about. But like, with some of them. Yeah. Do you want to move your paper just a little bit, thanks, even a bit more to keep it in the frame would be good. Thank you. Bring your chair closer if you want, if it's more comfortable. So you've got now lots of dividing lines. So those eight, so that we know like the eight pointed star. But also the eight like that looks like the Union Jack as well, doesn't it? Which we saw is on the flag. On the flag of which country first? Britain? Yeah, or well, Britain, and then they put it here. We could probably change it now, couldn't we? Probably don't need to keep so much British stuff. In the, or at least from what I understand, when it's done in churches or in with Christians, it's it's thought of as the star of redemption, and it's to do with new beginnings and fresh starts. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to send this out to people. Is that your eight-pointed star? Yep. Cool. So you're going to shade in some just to make the shape a bit more obvious. Yeah. And we're going to send this out with some sheets of that, um, the stuff we've got in the windows here. And that kind of reminds you of uh, like stained glass in churches. Have you seen any churches with stained glass windows? Yeah. Good. So we're taking a little bit from, from different faith traditions and putting it together and hopefully we make something that comes out really good and gets people to think about the stuff that happens between and across and within different traditions. So it's also called the Star of Lakshmi, it's also called the Star of Ishtar. So in different places they've had this star at different times. And what can you tell me about the film that we've got on the window? Um, when you walk around it changes different colours like pink, purple, gold, blue. It goes like greeny blue and pinky purple and yellowy orange. Yeah. And you can see through it but you can also makes it all colourful on the other side and you can see yourself. And reflective as well. Yeah. So you can see through it and it can reflect both. And also if you get in the right spot, there's someone on one side and someone on the other side through like some glass. Mm -hmm. Then you can see like you and them mixed together. Nice. So hopefully people will have these up in their windows and they can send us photos of what they did. They can use this template and I'll put something in the packs as well that they can cut out around it. All right. Thank you very much, Aishi. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Bring your head even more forward. We can see you fully there. Ah, there you are. See you later. <laughs>